Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and uh, I think a lot of people are actually wanting to do this for the longest time. So what I'm going to show you today is how to connect your FlySky receiver without any cable. All you will need is an iBus protocol receiver and an Arduino Nano. So this is pretty cool. It also works with FTDI adapter if you know how to use that. However, we're going to use Arduino Nano because it's cheaper and a lot of people have Arduino Nanos nowadays to do some of their things. Now, this would not be possible without a guy named Cleric K. Now, he is the one who created a software for um, a program called VJoy Controller. Basically, he created like somewhat of a plugin which talks to the API and he has coded the iBus protocol to actually work, which is pretty insane. Now, before we begin, please do not skip ahead because there are specific things that you must do where you will so you will not burn your receiver it's not scary all we got to do is basically flash this guy to remove everything so he does not talk on the tx pin to burn the ibus pin on the receiver now this works with any ibus receiver not just this one so anything ibus will work perfect so first things first what you want to do is obviously you want to make sure you let's go ahead and actually start with the arduino that's the first thing you want to do so the arduino here what you have to do is um, go ahead and install the cable here. But when you install the cable here, do not, I repeat, do not plug this guy in until we flash the Arduino. All right, so let's see what where we plug this in. So all we gotta do is get our five volt and give it a five volt, as you can tell right there. Ground is ground, that's right there. And the strange thing, you would think you would think this would go to an RX pin, but no, 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 this will go to a TX pin. So make sure you put it on the TX pin on the Arduino Nano, the iBus, you know, the signal pin, the iBus pin or wire would go on the TX here. Now, once that's done, leave it as is just like this. By the way, yeah, this will work on every single game you ever want because uh, it takes control of uh, VJoy drivers which basically allows you to use the controller on any game you want so any simulator will work absolutely perfect I've been playing liftoff with this it's just insane I've just been you know just boot this guy and connect this guy to the PC and I'm, I'm, that's it I'm playing it's just it's that easy it's just pretty simple all right so what we need to do now is we need to do two things we need to first flash the arduino and make sure you do not plug the receiver in until i tell you to so let's go ahead and move to the pc and see how to flash the arduino nano here all right guys so first things first what we want to do is we want to connect the arduino to the pc and i've already done that and you need to get download this arduino software i'll leave a link to the arduino software down below in order as the software that we're going to need so what you want to do is after you connect it and then it installs the drivers it's very simple there is, shouldn't be any problems nowadays everything is just super perfect you would want to go to tools after you install the arduino uh software and you want to choose the arduino nano board okay and if you have any other arduino board you would probably know what to choose here but we're using arduino nano you want to make sure you choose arduino nano under boards processor you want to use the at mega 328 and for port, you know, the correct COM port. Mine, this is a virtual COM port I've created, so forget that. So it's COM27 on mine. So, okay, that's all good and done. Now what we want to do is we want to go to File, S Examples, and then you want to go down to EEPROM, which is right there. And you want to say EEPROM Clear, all right? And then it should open this up right here. Now, before you go ahead and flash this, I recommend what you have to do is you have to erase this line here and this line here and we're going to go ahead and say upload so this is clearing the flash so it doesn't transmit anything on the tx pin and burn out our receiver this is how we know we have a clean arduino that's not doing jack shit that's that's the whole point here so let's just wait as you can tell it's compiling sketch here so we just wait there we go it's uploading Perfect. That's what we want to see. It. Done uploading. That is perfect. And if you want to do this, run this again. Run it three times just to make sure you flashed it. Great. Now, I mean, done uploading means usually that's it. It's done uploading. So we're done here. Now, what do we need to do? Now, we need to go ahead and download two softwares. Okay. So the first one, I'll leave it linked down below. This is, It's very important you also follow the order. It's called VJoy. I'll leave this link down below. And, uh, Actually, it wouldn't be this one here. It would be one moment. 
where it is right there this is the link that I'm gonna provide you uh, you download this first so you want to do is you want to scroll here just go to the, this big download don't go to these down here just go to this download wait for it to open and it'll take us to this page and it'll say your download will start shortly once it starts um, it'll download just install it and then I recommend even if it doesn't say uh, reboot your PC just reboot it anyway so as you can see it's VJoy setup I've downloaded it three times already so just forget the number it'll be VJoy setup and then you just run it and then just install follow it next 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 blah 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 you're done once that's installed I recommend you do a reboot so after you reboot your PC go ahead and go to the third link here and what you want to do is I'll give you exactly this link right here so this is a guy from Cleric K this guy is an awesome guy uh, he emailed me the other day telling me, listen, I did this and I basically he decoded the iBus protocol and created it into a plugin for that VJoy uh, software. So what you want to do is you want to go to the first one, which is version 1.1 and download the VJoy serial feeder.zip file. Once you download this, you need to extract it. And once it's extracted, it'll look something like this. Okay, so what's the next step now? Now the next step, what I usually like to do, just in case if the Arduino does um, send something on the TX pin, I plug in the Arduino without plugging in my receiver to it. That's one thing, so make sure it's booted. And then I go ahead, after it's plugged in, then I plug in the receiver to the Arduino after the Arduino boots up. So I've gone ahead and connected my iBus receiver and obviously it's bound here then the next step is to open this right there all right and you're going to get a page like this perfect vjoy instance one beautiful protocol is ibus and then you want to choose the correct com port and then just click connect all right now we just want to watch down here connected zero channels it's because my transmitter is off i just turned on my transmitter did you see how fast that was that was insanely fast and it's running at 7 milliseconds 143 hertz update rate right there that's our refresh rate and it's 14 channels available since it's ibus protocol which is pretty awesome however now we need to add the uh joysticks the the but the axes and the buttons and stuff we don't really need the buttons it doesn't matter but you can play with that later on so let's go ahead and say add axes here channel one we're going to leave it x input let's see which one is channel one it doesn't really matter right now so as you can see it's working this is roll axis right here and then we're going to go ahead and add another axis and we're going to say channel two and then just change it to y and then add another axis channel three and then change it to the third one and then add another axis and then channel four and then change it to the fourth one and now let's just double check everything all right that's perfect everything is beautiful so next thing you want to do, you want to go up here and just say, um, I don't know, fly sky. Name the name the profile so you don't have to do this every single time. Save, and we're done. That's it. So the next step here after this is to open up your liftoff simulator. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, guys. So the game is open now. Let's go ahead and set it up so what we want to do is you want to go to options first i'm using the liftoff simulator i love this one the most out of all the simulators i've ever used and i still use it to this day so you want to go to options and then you're going to go to controls and then you're going to go to controller all right so obviously the receiver and the transmitter everything is booted up and i kept that uh that page open where we set up the axes on so now what we want to do is we want to go to calibrate and then we're going to say to start calibrating. Now it's saying to rotate all of the sticks around. And you should get four of those lines going crazy. Okay, so now it just detected all of our thingies. So now we want to do is center. Make sure we center everything and just wait for it. All right, so check this out. Now it's telling me to move the throttle axes up. Now I highly recommend you move it exactly the way it's saying. Because if you moved it down now, then your throttle will be inverted in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and move it up. There we go. And now that's working. That's beautiful. So now it's going to ask us to recenter. So let's go ahead and center it again. All right, beautiful. Now we're going to do the axes pitch, the the roll. When we're going to the pitch, sorry, the pitch. We're going to move it up. There we go. Now it's perfect, as you can see right there. That's awesome. So now we're just going to center everything again. It's just so simple and it's just awesome. I, I've been playing with my fly sky. All right, seeing roll to the right. There we go. Now it's rolling. Perfect. Awesome. And now we're connected actually via iBus, which is pretty insane. It's pretty, 
it's very quick. There's no latency. Well, obviously, there's a little bit of latency, but you, it's. I think it's a lot quicker than the. Uh, there we go. Now yaw to the right. It's a lot quicker, possibly than the uh, my FR Sky. That's how it felt while I was playing it. But I just need to double check this, so make sure we center everything. All right. After we've done here, I do recommend you do the fine tune. So let's check out the fine tune. So as you can see, my roll axis has a little, you know, right there, just a little bit extra. So what you want to do is you just want to increase this dead band just a slightly bit. There we go. Now it's perfectly centered. Now let's check our throttle. I want to line up the lines here. So it looks perfect. It's, I don't need to do anything. Save. And we're done. So now I'm going to look at the as you can tell I'm, whatever I'm moving it's actually moving exactly correct so I'm rolling to the right rolling to the left pitching forward pitching right now if it's inverted for some reason all you got to do is click the invert right here for whatever axis was inverted but we're perfect here so we're gonna save we're done and that's it so let's jump back on the table and go over everything again alright guys so it's just that simple so just all you got to do just a quick recap here Connect the Arduino without the receiver. Make sure you flash it first. And once it's flashed, install the the programs. After everything's installed, you know, just reconnect your Arduino. Don't connect your receiver just yet. Just give it a little moment, then connect it. And then uh, make sure you're bound, that's for sure. And make sure this guy is on. Your transmitter is on here. And um, you're good to go. That's it. So this is how I'm playing. This is basically what's connected to my PC and I'm just playing with nothing connected to my transmitter, which is just awesome. So overall, you know, thanks to Claret K. I, I don't know how to thank you enough. You should add a little donate button. Now I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to donate for you. And um, if it wasn't for him, this would not be possible. And this is just super awesome. I really love this. And uh, just, you know, you guys should just email this guy is just awesome uh he's also thinking of doing the s bus version but you know that's inverted but if you guys are interested in that let us know down in the comment section i'll go ahead and tell him he's, he's going to be watching the video also so you guys can tell him whatever you want down in the comment section and uh I'll, the, the github is his page uh, he's the one that created this software to run the iBus protocol, which is pretty insane. And uh, this will also work on Eternity Evolution. Now, a lot of people uh, said the Eternity Evolution has a lot of latency on the USB uh, port. So we're going to go ahead and also uh, do a separate video for the Eternity Evolution. It's basically the same thing. That's it. Just bind your FlySky. However, I'll just create a separate video for that also just for, for, just for reference if people wanted that. Or just when someone's searching, they can easily find that. And um, that's it, guys. So this whole thing costs, what, three bucks, two bucks? Just an Arduino Nano. That's all you need. And uh, I'll leave a link to an Arduino Nano, the same exact one that I'm using, down below. Go ahead and pick some up. Uh, pick a couple up, actually. It's always good to have a couple. You know, you could always keep this for one of your receivers. And um, you could do a lot of things with these guys. Flash ESCs, flight controllers. And then we're, we're going to have a lot more projects on the channel coming with these guys. So they're very good to have. Overall, that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, join the mission. Join my Patreon. Help me document everything and just create these awesome little DIY projects. And you could also use the affiliate links down there. They do greatly support the channel. Um, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.